What's going on YouTube? It's your boy SonicStone123 here and welcome back to another video here on Modern Warfare 3. Today is the start of Season 2 Reloaded here on Modern Warfare 3 and obviously there's a whole bunch of new things that just recently dropped. New maps, new weapons, all that crazy stuff and today we're actually going to be unlocking a few of those new weapons here inside of Modern Warfare 3. Now because today is also Wednesday, there's a new set of weekly challenges which this week it has the new weapon, the SOA Subverter which is like the new battle rifle that just came out for Season 2 Reloaded that you can unlock by completing 5 different challenges from multiplayer zombies or even over there on Warzone. Then over in the battle pass we also have the new Soul Render melee weapon which is like a sword that you can actually use here inside of Modern Warfare 3 in Warzone. There's also there's four other tiers that you have to complete first before you can actually unlock this weapon but once you complete those four tiers then you'll have access to this melee weapon which can use multiplayer Warzone and all that. Now today we're going to go out our way to go ahead and unlock the SOA Subverter and also the Soul Render melee weapon here inside of Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and also check out the new DOS house map here inside this game. Now as always don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, we drop awesome content on the channel pretty much every single day and yeah let's go ahead and get to today's awesome gameplay. Alright so here we are on DOS house remastered this is essentially the same map for Vanguard just modernized with it being set on a construction site on top of like a skyscraper or something like that but here we have to complete a few different challenges so that way we complete the weekly challenges and also there's a few challenges for the battle pass sections that we have to complete so that way we can lock the soul render and also the soa subverter here inside this game so we're gonna have to get some kills with the longbow conversion kit the haymaker conversion kit uh some melee kills here and there it's a uh, battle rifle kills things of that nature once we get them all done and obviously we unlock both of those weapons here inside of modern warfare 3 multiplayer Yeah, I also forgot about this little camo that's unlockable through the battle pass little sectors for the little soul render. It's ugly, but I mean, it's free. So I, I guess I can't complain about it. Now, for some odd reason, the battle rifle challenges over and the weekly challenges just do not track at all over there in multiplayer. So I'm here on zombies and getting some ADS kills with SMG. And luckily enough, I haven't got my Ram 9 Borealis yet. So this gives me an opportunity to get that done and also at the same time get this challenge done. So that way we can actually unlock the subverter so that way we can actually use it over there on multiplayer. Alright, now we have this SOA subverter finally, so let's go ahead and check out this gun and see what the camo challenges kind of look like on this weapon. So obviously all the multiplayer challenges are pretty much the exact same. You got this weird looking fish camo that you can unlock. So it's the same as every other battle rifle and then obviously once you get gilded, then it has a different forge 
the Priceless and also Interstellar challenges that you have to kind of complete so that we can unlock this camo. And then over on Zombies has its own unique challenges and also another fish camo. And this that blue camo looks really good on this gun. And then also you got the Gold Enigma, Zircon, and then Borealis looks amazing on this gun as always. Now I will say I do appreciate the fact that over here inside the attachments that we unlock progressively, we seems to get like pretty much all the good Warzone based attachments for this gun. So pretty much all you have to do is get it I think up to like level 8 and you have a pretty solid setup regardless of if you need an under barrel or not. Like this gun, it already has a low recoil apparently so it should be pretty decent even without it being max level since it gives you pretty much all the good attachments early. All right, now that we got the subverter, now we can actually use it here inside of multiplayer. I'm excited to see what this gun is actually capable of. Hopefully it's pretty good. I know it has like little to no recoil, but that 20 round mag, it, it's definitely seemed like something that may hinder me in the process. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this gun. Our insights are a little odd, it kind of like the boss B, but it kills pretty decently. So uh, hopefully it's not bad, you know, but ah, I forgot to reload, but that 20 round, that's, that's definitely a bit of a problem. You really gotta hurry up and get the next biggest magazine attachment, which I think is just the 50 round mag. It's the first one that you can actually unlock, so let's get it. All right, now all we have to do is get the last battle pass sector challenge done and then we also have the Soul Render Unlock 2 here inside of Modern Warfare 3. So far though, I'm kind of liking this subverter. It's a little decent at times. It's a little iffy also, but I want to kind of see inside semi-auto. So far it doesn't look like it's really hidden that much. I don't know. It's kind of like the bass B in the sense where it's not really dealing as much damage. But, I mean, eh, eh, I'd probably keep it in full auto. Hopefully. I ain't never gonna squad deep over there, but hey, I got my Overwatch helo. I'm pop off. Finally, I'm level, level 4 with the subverter, so now I have to 50 round drop. I'm kind of tired of this 20 round mag. It's a little, it hinders me a lot low key in certain situations, so 50 rounds are pretty decent. Whoa, 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 what was that? Is that the new melee weapon? Is that what it does to people? Nah, I gotta quickly hurry up and unlock that, that weapon. That, that seems crazy. Oh my god, finally I got this challenge done. This was a pain in the butt. Alright, now that we got the soul render, let's go ahead and quickly inspect this. This honestly, it looks cool. It even sounds cool, low key. Uh, let's see how it kind of works though. So I heard it's supposed to have some weird mechanics and whatnot. And obviously earlier we saw that it has some weird execution thing. I don't know if that's like a person thing. Oh. Is that just the normal melee animation with this? Nah, that's kind of crazy, low key. Oh, what is that? Why, why did it hold the weapon like that? It's a little weird. Okay, I'll um, we'll see uh, what I can do with all that. But okay, so far it can. It is possible to actually do a normal swing though, but. I don't know why it does that weird animation. Is that just natural? Nah, that's just that's just sounds weird low key. Whoa, oh my god, that's that's crazy. It, that's just the normal melee animation with it? Nah. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a fun melee to use on low key.
Nah, this gotta be one of the coolest additions that they had on this game. This might be one of the best melees that they have dropped. It's unique, it's cool, it even has a clean animation. Look at this! Come on! <laughs> you can't tell me that this isn't one of the greatest animations that they had. All right, now, honestly, I've had a lot of fun with this new SOA subvert and also with the Soul Render. As always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, new here. We drop awesome content on the channel pretty much every single day. Can't wait to use these weapons over inside of Warzone. And yeah, hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of y'all's day. And yeah, until next time, peace.